from the beginning. That was an original piece Man. called Schizo. Yeah, I like that one. All right, we're going to come. So let me just tell you a little bit about us. We are Groove Century, like you said. We're hailing from Atlanta, Georgia. Anybody from Atlanta, Georgia in here? Okay, no. No. <laughs> Fellas, we by ourselves. <laughs> but we've been here um, three or four times, and uh, we love it. Stop, John. Um, and we love it here. Um, I actually have family here. So this is my second, my second hometown. My dad is from here, Michael Jones. So um, I feel right at home. We're excited to be here again, and hope you enjoy the music. We got a good program for you. We are groove centric, so we kind of like we love grooves. That's what's that's why it's in our name. We love anything that has a groove to it, whether it be. Uh, Miles Davis, John Coltrane, swinging grooves, or the funk of Al Green and James Brown groove, or you know some type of Spain, Spanish, African. We just love hey, grooves, right? So we was like, okay, so we love it. Let's make a name for it. Groove Centric. So everything we're gonna play, um, for, it, it shows our versatility of all the music. That one was get so. This next one is called Get a Grip.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That is groove centric, y'all. Y'all like them so far? Yeah. They're hitting us with some original tunes right there. How y'all feeling, everybody? Y'all yeah. been sitting down for 45 minutes. Y'all all right? How y'all feeling, fellas? Good. Somebody, who gonna be the spokesman, Mike? You gonna be the spokesman? Keith, there's a mic over there. Keith, you get in there with him. Might ask you a question. Uh, so, uh, since you're the spokesman, tell us how Groove Centric uh, was founded. How did oh, this cool. get started? How did this come about? So, um, all of these gentlemen over here um, have been professional musicians for a long, long time. Uh, that just means that all these guys have played with the who's who um, from every artist, national artists, from jazz artists, everyone. So um, we've all individually been great up, up making music and playing with artists, but at one time it was like, okay, just gigging isn't it just enough. It's, it isn't enough. But, um, what is your legacy going to be? What is your stamp on the earth is going to be? Is going to be because you just play behind somebody, or are we going? Are we using our gifts to the best of our ability? And it was like we're not. We actually have songs in us that we wanted to compose and, and write. And so collectively, we said, okay, let's just sit down and just start writing. Okay. And so we had a session. We just sat there, just start coming up with tunes. Keith had tunes already had written. Um, Joel had tunes, so we just came together and just started bonding and came up with the name, and that's, that's all she wrote. So Groove Citrus was the name you came up with. So how many tunes y'all threw away? They're like, no, nah, this ain't no good, Keith. Uh, <laughs> it hasn't been a song, has it, that we've thrown away? I mean, we've, we've had ideas that are still out there that we haven't really completed yet, yeah. but uh, we have had a tune that we started that we just... Here's an interesting question I have, because you all are musicians, obviously, so there's no vocals. Um, how do y'all come up with a name for songs? How does that come about? Um, okay, you want to ask? Yeah, Keith, yeah, Keith, this going to, I don't even know what he's going to say. This is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> how y'all doing? Try, see that? See that? It's not a how y'all down. It's not a how y'all down. That's how you got them names, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> nah, seriously. Um, different tunes, I, I, you know, schizo, uh, that was written, it was just like, man, that's all over the place. Um, I, I don't know, I just thought of Skitzo. It's like, it's crazy, you know? It's crazy. Skitzo. I don't want to see nobody, you know? All you crazy people out there. <laughs> <laughs> so that other personality will forget that you're saying it later. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, six Cents, uh, that's a tune we're going to play later. It's uh, it was all the, the whole melody line is, is six intervals. So in music you have different distances between notes, and the whole melody line, everything is six intervals apart. So that's how that came about. Um, so all y'all's music's got a mental aspect to it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all basically crazy, right? Yeah, we crazy. Pretty much. Well, he got crazy. So real. let me tell you about one of his tunes. We we're not going to play it tonight, but we have a blues called got some reals BC, BC, BC. It stands for Bunch Brown chicken, chicken, Brown Cow. He wrote that. Um, and the story is, I'm going to tell it. He has another version of his story, but I like telling my version, even though it's wrong. Anyway, so he's riding home. He lives far out from Atlanta. He lives... 45 minutes to an hour outside of Atlanta, right? And so he's driving home and then the pasture is over yonder. <laughs> guess what he saw? A brown chicken. And guess what was right next to it? A brown cow. That's deep. Keith over there looking like that ain't had that story. <laughs> Y'all ever seen a good movie? Brown chicken, brown cow. Uh uh, Keith, we don't do that type of stuff in here, man. I he should have let me have my story. <laughs> I, I seen that word, that music in another life. Don't oh, check a power wow. Pizza delivery. I got a pizza. <laughs> no, nah, we're not doing that. So you guys have got actually uh, music projects that are out, right? right so um, that first tune, Schizo, that's going to be on, on a upcoming album that we're working on currently. We're almost finished with it. It'll be out this summer. Um, be on the lookout for that. Um, we have also an album that's already out there called Crossing Bridges, and that second piece, Get a Grip, that's on one of the tunes that's on there. So that's available on iTunes, CD Baby, any any digital outlet. We will have some copies for you tonight when we ran out. We've been playing that record, sold out in Atlanta, so we have another order coming in, so we don't have any tonight. But you can go online and find it. If you just Google Groove Century, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Facebook. We have a lot of stuff coming. Uh, and so, Twitter, Twitter, what's the other oh, one? Uh, Snapchat, and, and 
Yeah, we got one on there too. All on MySpace. Look us up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we got one on there too. All on MySpace. Look us up. So, you guys are going to do some some vocals too. We've got a very talented vocalist that I'm going to bring out at this point in time. Y'all, please help me make some noise and welcome to the stage, Miss Heather Hayes, to the stage, y'all. Yes, she is. Can I talk to Heather a little bit too? Come on up there, Heather. How you doing, girl? Y'all, well, what's happening, Heather? Hey. Hello, how are you guys doing? All right. So, Heather, when did you start uh, singing with these guys? Well, actually, he started playing for me first. Uh, and then I started singing for him. Then you started singing with him. So, how long has that been? Uh, maybe four years. Probably about four years. Okay, and how long have you been singing? Ooh. 20 some odd years, probably. Since I was a kid. Since you were a kid. So, is music in your background? Yes. Why is how did music get to be so integral? Okay, I'm working to something. Y'all stick with me. How did music get to be so integral in your background, Heather? Um, because I heard it around my house all the time. <laughs> really? You heard a lot of it? Yes. New music? Yes. And so, who was playing this music at your house, Heather? My father. Oh, was your, so your father was musically inclined? Yes, he was musically inclined. Okay, so was your father a singer, a musician? Yes, he was a singer and a producer. Okay, who's your father? I may know him. My father is Isaac Hayes. Oh, see, oh, oh, my hey. dude! Shot! Y'all know what I'm talking about. My dude, my dude. Uh-huh. Doom, doom, doom. You made me work so hard to get that out of you. <laughs> you knew where I was going with that. Doom, doom, doom. So how amazing was how amazing was that to be yeah. working in the same industry as your father? How, how does that feel for you? Oh, I mean, I love it. I mean, we were raised around music. Of course, he kind of deterred us. He really didn't want us to go into the industry okay. because of how hard it is. But it was always around us. It okay. was I would fall asleep in the studio while he's creating. So that was just kind of you know what we did in our house. It was a musical home. So, so I gotta ask this question: Is there like one particular song that your father you may have heard him working on and you was like, eh, and then like later it's got a Grammy or some big deal or something like that? Or that sticks um, out? The only songs like so by the time I was kind of old enough to understand that he was actually famous. <laughs> I mean, before I was like, eh, like exactly. So it was just my dad. Um, he um, apparently he did a song. Um, he used to be um, the writing team Hayes and Porter. And he did a lot of songs like for Sam Hayes, Home Coming, all those types of things. And he also worked with Carla Thomas. And he had this song called Baby. And I would go through old records and listen to him. But he had a new artist that he kind of redid it, and it was kind of up to date, and that was one of the first songs that I just really, really loved, and I actually do that in a show that I have, but, so he made, you know, he made that cool, and of course when he worked with Alicia Keys, and when he started being in all the rap videos, and they were sampling him, he really didn't know what was going on, but he was like, Dad, that's cool, like, that's Tupac cool. is cool, yeah, yeah, Tupac he in a video right. with him, so, yeah. So, tell us more about you, so you also sing with other bands, you got your own band? I mean, yes, I have my own band. It's called the Heather Hayes Experience. Um, we do a lot of corporate, private functions, festivals, and things like that. But I also have a band called Hot Buttered Soul, which is a dedication to my father, which means we do everything from Shaft to Sam and Dave hits to Carla Thomas hits to songs that are sampled, Faith Evans, you know, a lot of different things. Everything that he produced. He produced a lot of things. I think people don't realize how much he produced, but he produced and wrote a lot of great music, and a lot of the songs are being sampled today continuously. That is, that is so absolutely fantastic. So we are so honored and thankful to have you here. Y'all do it for Heather one more time. And, and we want to enjoy you with these cats right here. So y'all get it one more time for Groove Centric right now featuring Heather Hayes, y'all. Thank you so much. Heather's going to sing a lot of songs that um, she's dug up that has been inspirational for us. One of them was uh, Janet Jackson. We're going to do this in one. Y'all love, y'all love Janet Jackson? Yeah. Come on, nephew. Come on. <laughs> How do you assess with Janet Jackson? Like I was. You didn't have the earring or the key in it, like you would have a kid.